What's going on YouTube? It's Gary, back again as always, and I just want to do a quick review on Batman Cacophony. And um, I just finished reading it. It's a three-part series written by Kevin Smith, and the artwork is done by uh, Walter Flanagan, whose name, uh, Walter Flanagan, I was like, man, that sounds super familiar. And I was thinking about it, I was thinking about it, and I was like, oh shit, that's a guy from uh, the show um, Comic Men on AMC after The Walking Dead. He's the main... Uh, person who runs the store up in New Jersey. So I thought that was pretty interesting that Kevin Smith had one of his best friends and uh, who he gives credit to getting him into comics in the first place to uh, do all the art, which I think is really great. I really do like the artwork. Um, I like the artwork on the Joker. There's, you know, most of the Batman is drawn really well in this, but there are definitely some panels where I was like, damn, they really fucked up on his face. Uh, if I find it, I will. I'll show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> but, um, basically this is a story where, um, there's Arkham Asylum, the two, the two security guards that run the gate got fired, and one sold, um, his, uh, passwords and security to someone, uh, basically to come in and kill Joker, and, um, Onomatopoeia comes in and Deadshot comes in, Deadshot comes in first to try to kill the Joker, Onomatopoeia comes in and shoots Deadshot in the face. You think he's dead, but he's not really dead because he had a blood packet and a bulletproof uh, mask on, basically. And so, there's Joker in this story, and um, Onomatopoeia, and Maxi Zeus, and Victor Saz, I think, is that, I think that's how you say his name. Basically, he kills everybody, and for everybody that he kills, he, uh, you know, he marks up his body. And he's completely full of marks. Um, the reason I think it could have gone on to a six-part series instead of just three, um, there's just so much going on. There's the Batman Joker story. There's the Maxi Zeus story. Basically, uh, he takes the Joker's poison and gives it out as you know, starts selling it as drugs uh, mixed with some kind of other chemical to a, to where kids just get really really high off of it. So kids are dying from ODing on it. Um, you got Onomatopoeia and Deadshot. It's just so much going into one story uh, to a three-part, you know, miniseries that it definitely could have been spread out a little bit more, so it's a little bit less uh, jumbled. Still a good read. I really enjoyed it. I sat down for you know 25 minutes and just read all three books and tried to take it all in. Um, but uh, Deadshot goes in, tries to kill the Joker. Like I said, gets shot in the face by Onomatopoeia, um, and then Onomatopoeia basically let the Joker out with um, a briefcase full of money to go run wild on the streets and uh, basically draw Batman out. Um, the Joker was, in this story, Joker was basically just uh, bait to draw Batman out so Onomatopoeia could kill him. Um... So, you know, it was an interesting story. I really liked the way Joker um, was portrayed. Interesting thing about Joker in this, though, is, you know, it's not something we haven't seen before, but instead of just being insane and crazy, he also had this very sexual, deviant side to him where um, there were some lines that, you know, he wanted this and that from Batman sexually, and he wanted this and that sexually from, uh, I think it was Deadshot that he aimed a line at. Um that he wanted anal sex from him, it was just, it was, it was, it was weird, um, but, I mean, the Joker's crazy, he's insane, he is the Joker, so, he does what he does, um, toward the end, the last issue, um, the Joker gets stabbed by Onomatopoeia in the chest, and Batman is faced with the ultimate question, do I save the Joker, or do I chase after Onomatopoeia after he stabbed, uh, the Joker? And he chooses to stay um, and help the Joker, which I thought was really interesting. And you know, it all comes back to that to that line: uh, "Do you do you want the Joker dead, or do you want to keep him around? Is he the only thing keeping you, Batman? Is he the only thing keeping you uh, motivated to do anything as Batman?" And um, there was a there was a really interesting quote that Joker said. He said. Um, I'm trying to remember word for word what he said. 
Um, I don't hate you because I'm crazy. I'm crazy because I hate you. And that was the line that uh, the Joker said to Batman, which I thought was really interesting. And Bat he asked Batman, do you, do you, you know, the Joker asked Batman, do you want me dead? And the Batman, honestly, he said, no. He said, you know, you're insane. You can't help what you do. We just need to make sure we keep you locked up. And he asked the Joker the same question. Do you want me dead? And the Joker was all doped up and um, on uh, antipsychotics and everything. And the Joker still said, yeah, I want you dead. I want to see you dead. The only time I'm ever going to stop killing kids, the only time I'm going to stop running a mockery of you out on the streets is it when you're dead. And then uh, when you're dead, I'll make sure that I'm locked up and I never get out again. And he basically promised Batman that, so that leaves Batman with uh, the question, you know, is it worth being around? Or maybe he should, you know, let go of being Batman so that the Joker stops reaving, ha you know, causing havoc on the street. Um, like I said, it was a good, it was a good three-part miniseries. Um, number one. Number two. And number three. And then, uh, Mr. Fix This Match, my boy Ben, he also sent me, uh, variants of number one. And of number two. And these were both done by, uh, Adam Kubert who is the son of Joe Cooper, who just recently passed away. Uh, well, I mean, not real recent, but mo a few months ago. Um, so like I've told you guys before, I don't really do reviews a lot, but I'm going to try to get on here and do some more reviews, just so I can get better at it. Obviously, I'm not great at them, but uh, I, th I figure the more that I do, the better I'll get at them. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they won't be too bad. Hopefully I'll keep you guys entertained. Um, would I recommend you guys picking it up? I definitely, I definitely recommend you guys picking this up. Um, it's a very intimate storyline between Batman and the Joker, and you get to see, you know, the interaction between them. And like I said, there are also um, other key points in the plot. You know, you got Onomatopoeia, you got Maxi Zeus, uh, obviously Joker, um, Deadshot. And Victor Says. I'm totally butchering that name, I'm sure. Um, so, I mean, it's a very interesting story. I would definitely recommend picking it up, reading it, and let me know what you think of it. Um, I know that DaCosta DC Comics said that he liked it and he recommended it. And obviously, Ben liked it. He sent it to me to let me read. So, um, I appreciate that, Ben. And I look forward to uh, seeing what you guys have to say about the book. Whether you liked it, whether you didn't like it, I know it's Moose Reviews. I know a lot of people don't like the way that um, Batman was, you know, the way that he carried himself and what he had to say. Because it's not the normal Batman. Um, there are some some parts where he tries to be a little funny. And, uh, you know, that's not the normal Batman that everyone's used to. But, um... And obviously, you know, Joker's a little different. But everyone has their own interpretation of the Joker. It just depends on whose uh, art you like more and whose storyline you like more. So, interested to see what you guys have to say. And uh, hopefully I didn't butcher this review too bad. So, uh, please leave comments down below. Like or dislike, either way. If you dislike, let me know what you didn't like about the review. But at least I can use it as a criticism for my next review. And uh, I'll be chatting with y'all all weekend long. It's almost Friday, tomorrow. Keep your heads up. Stay positive. Till next time.